GPT-5 is officially out and it is mid. Here's everything you need to know. For the good, it's faster, it's smarter, it is a better model, and it's free for everyone to use. Even if you don't have a paid plan, you can go and use GPT-5 right now. It connects with your calendar, it connects with your email, it is able to get a lot more context into your life and then interact with it. You can schedule things on your behalf. They showed a few really cool demos where you actually generate virtual games on the fly with one prompt. And there's a lot of health benefits too. If you ever have any questions, it's much better at that. But that is where the good ends, my friends. For the bad, I'd like to report a crime, chart fraud, 31 is not the same as 69. And there was like four slides where the charts were completely off in favor of making them look good. And then there were the benchmarks in which we found out on the AGI test, Grok 4 is actually still higher than OpenAI by a fairly large margin. And Sam Altman got the memo. He actually replied with a post that said, we can release much, much smarter models and we will, but this is something a billion plus users will benefit from. And to that, I say, well, why didn't you just say that in the presentation, Sam? So GPT-5, incredible. Go use it. It's going to be a better experience, but that's about it. There was nothing really special about it. In fact, it wasn't even the most interesting news that happened this week. I think Google's Genie 3 is way cooler. But then again, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know your takes. Do you like it or hate it?